We didn't dig deep into the statistics, but based on the observations, we can safely assume that the number of all-new supercars with electric powertrains is equal, if not surpassing, internal combustion models. We are tirelessly following the automotive news, and in this episode, we'll present to you the latest introductions in the segment that make a clear statement about the future electric superiority. By the way, now's a great time to subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to miss the upcoming videos, ring that bell and let's get technical. The legendary Italian coach builder Penin Farina was founded 90 years ago and technically ceased operations in 2010. However, the brand re-emerged as Automobile Pina Farina headquartered in Munich, Germany and now celebrates the history of its predecessor by releasing an anniversary edition of the Batista hypercar. The newcomer could be distinguished by the unique livery and a revised carbon fiber aerodynamics package. This luxury GT still keeps the four motor powertrain that makes 1900 horsepower, but due to the lower weight and added grip ensured by the performance tires, the top speed was increased to 217 miles per hour just like the original Batista. The anniversary edition is beyond exclusive, only five units will be built. When this iconic sports car manufacturer was purchased by the Chinese company Geely in 2017, many got worried. Can you expect the same level of British finesse and craftsmanship from the brand? As it turns out, you can, and the proof of that is the new Avaya hypercar. Meant for a limited production of 130 units, this model is many things at once. The first all-electric Lotus, the lightest production EV hypercar in the world, and the only road-legal automobile from the company that sits on a single-piece carbon fiber monocoque construction. In addition, the Avaya will be one of the fastest electric cars on the market, developing speeds over 200 miles per hour and taking less than three seconds to accelerate to 62 miles per hour. The story of Apex Motors began in 2019, when this British Hong Kong startup released the open-top track day sports car labeled AP1. Their next creation is an electric supercar built over a lightweight carbon fiber chassis. For now, we are aware that this will be a rear-wheel drive model with a floor-mounted 90 kilowatt-hour battery, and output measured at 660 horsepower and 428 pound-feet of torque. The all-carbon bodywork additionally contributes to the low 2,640 pounds of weight. The AP0 has impressive aerodynamics and scissor doors which add to the supercar flair, plus its performance characteristics of 2.3 seconds 0 to 60 and 190 miles per hour top speed deserve to be reckoned with.
When Aspark had first unveiled the exotic Owl hypercar, they immediately got media attention for the unorthodox beaky front end and impressive acceleration parameters. Two years later, the ambitious engineers behind the Japanese startup are returning with a bang. They claim to have quadrupled the previously announced technical characteristics, so four independent motors of the Aspark creation now make 2,012 horsepower and 1,475 pound-feet of torque. Once it hits the production lines, these insane numbers will make it the world's most powerful serial automobile. Moreover, the 1.69 second 0-60 acceleration will snatch the title of the quickest model as well. Only 50 Owls will be manufactured, insanely priced at $3.2 million each. Your feedback about this episode is absolutely crucial, so review the entire lineup and let us know what is your favorite entry in the comments below. Like this video and let's get back to awesome EVs. The name Vega Innovations first surfaced in 2015, when the company announced its plans to build an all-electric supercar and demonstrated the initial version of the vehicle. Fast forward five years, and Sri Lanka's first automobile is almost ready for production. The Vega EVX series prototype wears carbon fiber bodywork and comes powered by a 55 kilowatt hour battery juicing two electric motors that produce a total of 804 horses and 561 pound-feet of torque. The car should be good for 188 miles of range, 0 to 60 time of 3.1 seconds, and a top speed of 150 miles per hour, though Vega plans to add a 130 kilowatt hour option to the lineup, improving the performance to 465 miles, 2 seconds, and 236 miles per hour. This electric supercar has been under development for almost 10 years now, since the introduction of the brand's Concept One. In 2020, the car is expected to roll off the assembly line, and the company has already revealed its pre-production prototype that's still wearing some camo. The specifications of the C2 have not been downgraded. The two-seater gets a four-motor electric powertrain with 1,914 horses and 1,696 pound-feet of torque, so it should clock 0 to 60 acceleration in 1.85 seconds. The motors are linked to a 120 kilowatt hour battery that ensures a max range of 305 miles, a top speed of 258 miles per hour, and a quarter mile time of 9.1 seconds. Despite having two doors too many to be called a proper supercar, the GTE by the Silicon Valley-based startup Dryco promises exceptional handling, plenty of power, insane torque, and as a bonus, four seats to fit a family. The car borrows its chassis from Fisker's Karma but gets a more sophisticated suspension setup. The GTE features a quad motor system with each motor powering an individual wheel and ensuring unseen cornering precision. The combined output of the system is 1,200 horses and 6,490 pound-feet of wheel torque, 
It has claimed a top speed of 206 miles per hour, and it should demonstrate pretty decent acceleration times. The supercar also comes with several wheel options, each equipped with high-performance carbon ceramic brakes from Brembo. Hispano Suiza was a legendary pre-World War II automobile manufacturer that's now being revived by the founder's great-grandson. In 2019, the brand revealed its first model, an all-electric hypercar named Carmen. And this year, they're adding its more exclusive modification, with production limited to five units. The model is designed to commemorate the brand's racing heritage, getting a sportier exterior with extra carbon fiber elements exposed rear wheels, and a clear coat finish. It becomes 132 pounds lighter than a regular Carmen and boasts a more powerful drivetrain setup. The twin motor setup nets 1,100 horses and 1,180 pound-feet of torque, bumping the top speed by 25 miles per hour to 180 miles an hour and claiming 0 to 62 acceleration of 2.6 seconds. Thank you for visiting our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.